today what we are going to do we put a load on a cantilever beam and by constraint on a side of the beam we study that deformation takes place in a cantilever beam for that i am going to create component each and everything one by one so what we are going to do first we create a component and name that component as 1d component because we are going to create one dimensional component in this go to one dimension sorry in geometry go to lines and select this point to point or node to node section and give initial x value as 10 and then click click on create click on the this window and then press up that is called fit to window app then again we have to create the second line which is central to the first line perpendicular to the first line and get coordinates in such a manner the second line create again click F and the third line must be for here for which the x value is 0 and y value is 10 and this and the last point is 0 0 so we have a enclosed structure now after this we have to create convert this lines set of lines into a surface for this take rule set command and then click on lines and then display it then create lines now with the help of these tools we create a surface after this go to collector and then create component and name that component as a 2d component after this go to 2d geometry here the 2d component created go to auto mesh size and bias select the surface give element size as one type of quad it should be automatic element to current component and then click mesh you see the mesh component is going to be created after this we are going to create a 3d cantilever beam which we create a 3d element over here name them as a same and then go to 3d and then select drag before that we show that you have close all these section only element is visible after this go to drag drag elements displayed we are going to take this value 50 and 50 both after this we have to drag in the direction for this I am going to take the right direction and then drag now you see the beam is created after this we are going to put boundary condition and load for this what we are going to do we have to create some load collector for that we are going to create a load collector and then name is a boundary condition close it now what we are going to do we have to put load constraint on x z axis so from here we select the x z axis and then what we are going to do we are going to put a constraint to create to boundary condition create and constraint from here you have to select a window type and we are going to constrain all these nodes so simply by clicking close create and close bar and then click on select entities as you select all the nodes are selected these degree of freedom 1 2 3 gives constraint in x y z axis and about the same axis these 4 5 6 degree of freedom constraint your rotational constraint the relative size should be you can take any value it is just the size of the arrow which was created load type may be a single point constraint for here then click on create after clicking you see that the constraint applied on the one side of the bar now what we are going to do we have put anti a load over here so for this we have take plane of zx so from here we took the plane of zx what we are going to do we have to create load over here for this we have to create again a new load collector and name as a pose after this go to by mistakenly i created as a component 
it should be a load collector so I am going again create and load collector name is pose close go to boundary condition create pose now with the help of same method I am going to select only these top nodes on which I am going to put a vertical load you see and now the load axis value is in x direction x direction now see now in the magnitude I am going to use minus 100 Newton theta side B 5 Q8 now see the load is in upper direction for this check the value and then give only 100 not the negative sign value and create now you see that the load action is down action after this we have to create material which we need to assign on this component for this what we are going to do we are going to create material for this create after we are going to create material material mild steel for this mat on guard selected click over here and press enter for the values then close after the material was created after this we are going to what to do we are going to create party in property put mild steel and the car type should be P solid then material by clicking again you can select the property uh, material type okay now close now what we are going to do we have to do here to assign this property to the material then click over here select displayed element and then proceed as you clicking on these twice you see this is a material view bar and this is a property view bar as you click over here the material color changes now by clicking over here if the color changes of the view it was confirmed that the material was applied now what we are going to do we have to create a load step which join these two forces at a single content so for this we are going to go to an style then click load step click here and beam and then select single point constraint and load for this go to click over here boundary condition again click on force then type straight type should be linear static and create by clicking you see there is a load of stuff of created now till this time we have put all the boundary condition and apply assign material also to the cantilever beam before that you have to delete this 2d element because there is a card control in this this card which is called as param card in which the check element card of active so if you check element this card if this card is active then There should be no result not return. Then run this optistat file. It should be all. It should be an type and then optistat. If you wait for a moment, a new pop-up opens which show the analysis of this component. If this error comes, we see quad type. And what you have to do, we have to just delete this 2D element and then run the again.
because the param card always check the element quality of the component and now you can see the you can see the job was completed now you can see the result in hyper-v for this i am going to check where the where is the location of my one then this is hm6c0 the file directory and the for this ls should be same in hyper -view. now what we are going to do we are going to set the hyper view toolbar wait for a moment as it opens we are going to follow the same path that is c user and the hm6 file this hyper view opens For checking the results in a hyper view, you have to open h3d file. You can see over here in the same directory of documents, I have a h3d text file which we need to open in the same in this component. For checking the conducts with respect to displacement, click over here and the magnitude value for this and click apply. You can see that the maximum displacement which is going to be done due to the load which we applied on the anterior view is 0.27 and if you want to check displacement in any direction as we applied the direction in any direction we can select and then apply to see the total deformation if you want to check the magnitude you click apply over here to the use of deform tool we can check the deformation in the component for this. You have to click over here, check the displacement, and then apply. For checking the deformation, you have to play this video. You can see that there is a little deformation because we have put a, a load of only 100 Newton. If we increase the amount of load, then you can check the more deformation is going to be done. Thanks for watching this video.